Hello, this is your Dallas Spiritual Reader. You know satanic rituals are real. Let's start with Tupac and Biggie. The rap industry is the temple. The satanic prayer of devotion, they say. Worshiping satanic rituals sacrifice in order you see the sacrifice of Tupac was real his spirit stands over Los Angeles Some would say Tupac was a young man that was born for sacrifice. Being birthed in a penitentiary, becoming a juvenile delinquent, sacrifice of all his mom endeavors, joining a gang gang with a member name. Shook night. This demonic soul was Tupac manager. She met him when he was 17. One eight. 17. One plus seven is eight. Eight is a death number. I marry her trans. State in the eyes. Allegedly, it was a lot of money put on Tupac's head. He had spoken of the cartel in the Los Angeles police force. They wanted him quiet. As drugs shifted from Miami to California, the drug right of Mexico to America. Large quantities of coke was coming in. They needed a distraction. There was major players in a narcotic union dealing with Tupac's death. There was a gun raid in Compton gun shop. 892 guns were stolen. Their evidence disappeared. Missing narcotics out of the evidence room vault. Tupac life was sacrificed. Look at the number, 280 days, 200 songs, Tupac had recorded for the world to hear. Michael Moore, Tupac bodyguard, is dead in 2013. You see his partner. Snoop Dogg, Kevin, was supposed to be sacrificed, but he was spurred because he sold his soul to the ritual. Being another product of the government, he was spurred. In order to cut his murder conviction, he had to make a deal with the devils. Snoop Dogg was found to be not guilty. Some say he's the devil. Some say he's just a government plot for excuses. 
This is the death row owner, Suge Knight. When you sell your soul to LAPD, you become more valuable. Do you see what I see? Frank Alexander, another Tupac bodyguard, dead. 2013. Allegedly, Tupac was a big distributor, him and Biggie, from the, the largest organization of drugs in the world of America. Should Knight was the employer. They say, and he was the devil of the temple, they say, from the contractor of the bodyguards to Snoop Dogg. Death Row was secured. Officers was paid $75 an hour to work for Death Row. Gang members working with officers. Do you see what I see? Tupac security that night. Currently, they're all dead. Snoop Dogg security. By association with Dr. Dre, should night lived on. Why not a ritual in Las Vegas, Sin City? Michael Moore said he was told not to carry their guns. Michael Moore is now dead. As the ritual of Tupac started in the club with all the members there to sacrifice his soul. Cops was the security. They were everywhere. Tupac did not know. He was walking in the shadow of death. Tupac security was ordered not to have weapons. Do you see what I see? You see, Shug Knight was funded by the cartel, allegedly. He had big DPD in his belt strike, allegedly. Now he's locked up in a penitentiary, still in lavishing ways of luxury. Government plan, they say. You see, you can't get out of the gang gang world once you sign up for Satan. You sign up for death. I want to let the producer tell you what was really going on. She says he was done. He had filled his obligation. Do you hear the ritual? After the fight, Tupac was assassinated. Riding with his manager, but he is the one that died. He wanted to leave death row, but he knew too much. Should Night Association had came into play with force. 
look at death row, former publicists. Do you see what I see? They call him Papa G. The South Side Crips and Blood, they say, was the reason he was killed. But we all know the police force had duties too, must I say. And if everyone would have been paying attention, this shows you the next sacrifice would be in a crib gang member from New Jersey, they say. Biggie, you're one of the targets. You see, Tupac and Biggie was sacrificed for the stealing of drugs, murder, crimes made by the police department, allegedly. The next hit was Biggie Small, recalled his hit on Tupac before his death. As the government tried to make it where the ritual was about East Coast and West Coast. The demonic force had took over Tupac and he wanted out of the gang gang. But he was in deep, so deep that they called. 187 on Tupac. Now that the satanic ritual has came to Dallas, Texas, they say, you have to deal with the new shit night, allegedly. Everybody come around this man, end up dead. Allegedly, they call him the priestess, the evil cult, satanic king. Look at the cover, the medallion on the cult. Do you see what I see? The symbol of a ritual. And a number three. As he ceremonied his self as a demon, as he grew in power after the death of Mo three, they call them the plot of association. They say the death of Mo three was a sacrifice. A ritual before his death. Everybody knew about the death that was coming because they were demons. Don't get me wrong, O3 wasn't an angel himself, but he knew the protection was God and not man.
You see how God stuff man when it's troop. Go read articles. Go look at the news. You'll see DPD is in trouble. You see drugs are missing from the evidence room. Guns, money, and all sorts of things. Allegedly, a pallet of prescription drugs. Allegedly, Mo3 knew the case was boiling down. See, on real talk, when you're struggling with God, good and evil, you find yourself in a loophole that the knot is being tied around your neck. Do you see what I see? was one of the reasons he had to go. He knew God. Trials and tribulations. You see, before the ritual, the mindset plays a big part of the game. Mo3 was tired. They were wearing him down. He wanted to get out. He did not know he was going and performing in his own rituals, his own sacrifice, own blood. As they shouted and screamed in celebration, it wasn't about the music. As a possessed canary, she called herself queen that talks to the ancestors. Dead people are dead. Our ancestors are no longer. Our DNA is composed of their blood. <laughs> you see anybody called Dean is a priestess. It's another word for the chief of the prince of evil. is the ritual leader of sacrifice and rituals. See, somebody didn't tell Mo, you have to be careful in this world. It's not all witches or women. Can you see what I see? By association of one demon goat. As this goat applied pressure for Mo3 to come to his side, the enemies became greater in power and also more aggravated. The goat needed more power to influence the temple of empire, allegedly. After passing your soul with little Boosie, you were given lie detector tests, behavior tests, and a sacrifice 
was being built. The tug of war began. One demon to another. Who would win, they say? Because the goat was more powerful. 